everybody the bong is here and welcome back to the sanctum today is february 21st 2019 we are going to be getting started with super mario brothers 1x a super mario world rom hack will i be getting link's awakening remake and or mario maker 2 um there's likely not an immediate demand for me to get it i'd rather focus on games that I likely never gotten before. And I've already beaten Link's Awakening DX on this channel, so what's really the point? Alright, I never played this hack before, but I have seen screenshots of it. It does look pretty good. I noticed that you can... You can't spin jump, so there's no option to do that. Most of the controls are obviously based on classic Mario, so not Super Mario World. I wonder what the rest of the level design is going to be like, because as you can see, it's not just a typical uh, Super Mario Brothers remake. Level design obviously looks a little bit different, which is very positive. That I'm not going to be playing the same game I played many times before. That if you know what you're doing, you can beat Super Mario Bros. 1 without warps in probably 26 minutes. Like, yeah, it's that easy. Hello there, one lone wolf. I'm doing pretty good as well. How about you? The only Kingdom Hearts games I've played are Kingdom Hearts 2, a uh, little bit of Chain of Memories for the GBA, and I didn't like it. Uh, Dream Drop Distance is the one for the 3DX, I think. And, of course, Kingdom Hearts 3. And I finished neither of those. Everybody in the chat's looking to do the Mario. Good for you, I guess. Not that I can see you, so I guess I'll have to take your word for it. Well, I guess I can just uh, skip the level if I want to, but why would I do that? Don't we want to have some fun? <laughs> Don't we want to enjoy levels in this game? Of course, I can't save any power-ups like you can in Super Mario World. So there are some slight overhaul of mechanics there. I don't think the uh, jumping physics or the movement phys physics has changed at all. Like, it feels very easy to turn still, at the very least. What is over here, anyway? Why would I even want to go this route? Oh, wait a minute, I can't do that. Uh, I don't have the means to break blocks. I, I guess I'm not doing that way, then. At least, not yet. Yeah, I think that game was an absolute tease. Making you think, oh, there's a warp! No, there isn't! <laughs> okay, looks like the uh, stars below your coin counter tells you how many exits you've cleared. So right now I'm at two. Which I'm not surprised by. I wonder if it'll actually update the if I find more than one exit in a level. But I don't even know if there are secret exits in this game. Because there wasn't any in a Super Mario Bros. 1. Warps, yes, but I haven't been able to find one. I still need to finish Pokemon Sun. I don't even think I made it to, like, the, uh, first trial before I got bored. 
bored with it. And it's a shame because that was my Christmas gift one year. Isn't this like 1-3 in Lost Levels? Similar, but not perfect. Not really identical. Looks like there is like a cave over there. But maybe on the other side? What was my starter in Sun? Uh, Poplio. Because I wanted to uh, stick it to all the people that hated Poplio. Plus, I like water types. And I still don't have, like, Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon. But if I were to get either of them, obviously because I have Sun, I'll just get Ultra Moon. But I don't think there was anything that would have compelled me to get it. Also, for some reason, the screen does not scroll on that side. I'm getting a message on Facebook. Oh. It's just to, uh, like, a group Facebook for, a uh, D and d Not of absolute importance. Hmm. I guess you can't kill Bowser with fireballs anymore. Or at least the fake Bowser. Alright, we made it to World 2 already. So there's gonna be like maybe four levels per stage, which is standard. Yeah, some of the levels do look more like lost levels. And yeah, there's that. I don't think I can just go in that water, even though Mario can swim. He just forgets how to do that now, because he's Mario. Peach never really liked him for his brains. Hopefully I can get around to, like, playing another Pokemon game in the future. Like, I still need to finish Platinum. Like, I have Platinum, but I've never finished it yet. I'm gotten midway. But I did beat Diamond, though. Diamond was pretty good. Even though Sinnoh was, like, a weaker region for me. Let me tell you, if you try to do, like, a monotype of, like, Gen 4, oh my god, I hope to god you don't get fire or electric. Because you'd be have, have literally nothing to work with. Okay, there is more than one four levels in a world. Yeah, Cynthia was actually a pretty good champion to go against. It was better than it was in Gen 3, believe it or not, where the champion was just a single type. Like, Ruby and Sapphire, it's single type with Steel. But, believe it or not, if you get to Emerald, it's Water. I never understood why the champion was just, like, one type. Okay, guys... I was watching the, uh, stream window from behind me, and I thought there was floor. So, let me, uh, pause that so I don't get thrown off. So, I think that's where I made a mistake there. Okay, I paused the stream, so all I see behind me is, like, the black screen of, like, where I was dead. So now I won't be confused by what's below me.
Oh, that mushroom wanted to get away. Speaking of Pokemon, I actually did get a, a comment like a week or so ago one, of somebody wanting me to continue Pokemon Conquest to do the rest of the stories. And I'm like, it's been over like what? 90 episodes, maybe 100 episodes. I, I'm not going down that rabbit hole again. I went through all the different kinds of stories you have, and a lot of them campaigns are just repeated. Just different dialogue for characters. That's it. I don't have enough time to play another 30 to 40 episodes of a tactical RPG that got really repetitive. And I don't think anyone would blame me. The flying fish, I was really intimidated by in the past, but I realized that as long as you're, what, standing still, they can't get you, because they always hit you from the sides. Now, depending on what time you jump, it might throw you off, like that, but other than that, it should not be an issue. Okay, now all of a sudden we got Mario 3 music. What is going on? That's actually pretty cool that they're just taking stuff from other games. Except not really. Oh, oh I want that. They even took the Mario 3 mechanic where mushrooms can sometimes go left. And they even got those, like, bouncy blocks. This is only the second world, and already they've revamped some things. We have slopes now! Mario Maker 2 has slopes now as well. A lot of people, once they get the game, is just gonna be stages with all slopes! Mark my words! Oh, this is interesting. A Bowser castle that has water in it. Ah, I thought I could get under that. Oh! Pfft. There was a poison mushroom! I didn't think they would have them in this level so soon. They literally just put a trap there. Well, King S, that answered your question. The water is water. And poison mushrooms are still poison mushrooms. And there are doors. Oh, okay. There's that. Oh, 
Yeah, I always found it weird in Super Mario Bros. 1. Water can kill you unless you have to go in deep water. It's like, I'm allergic to specific kinds of water. It's like, how could you drown if you can swim? <laughs> that makes no sense. Unless Mario just can't get out of water. I remember he needs to go through a pipe to get out of water. So back then, when you fall into, like, certain pits that have water in them in the background, there were no pipes. So maybe Mario can get in water, but he doesn't have a way to get out, so it's considered a death. I wonder if we ever thought that far ahead into it. Oh, oh, oh! I thought I was going to, uh... Make that work. And that did not pan out the way I wanted. Oh, great, now all of a sudden we're in Super Mario Land Land. I don't remember Super Mario Land. It was actually better than I thought it would be. Just too bad it was so short. Welcome to Sarasa Land, the final boss is Daisy. <laughs> have like the uh, Koopas to blow up. Like they do in uh, Mario Land. I've done, which one do I regret doing the most? Um, probably the... It didn't have a name. Not, not a major name, but it was named after a specific, uh, person that wanted to do Mario hacks. So he only just did, like, some of the basic levels. And just edited them very minorly. Like, it wasn't even creative. Not even an overhaul... I like different levels. It was the same levels, but they just added a couple things to them. That's it. Also, there's a money mole there. I did not know that. And not only that, he asked me to do his hack again when he made changes. But there was like a, even less changes that were valuable. You can't... Oh, what? Oh. You had to stand at a very specific spot. To, uh, pick up the grass. And, of course, dig through sand. liked the uh, Mario Gives Up uh, series. It wasn't bad. I forget the name of the hack, but there was a certain hack that for some reason had lots of uh, Mega Man and Mega Man ZX, uh, you know, characters. And for some reason when you defeated Bowser, he just crapped himself. And for some reason, Derpy Hooves from My Little Pony showed up. For no reason! Absolutely shoehorned. There was no purpose to it. The ending was just blah. The levels were designed well, even though there was some repetitiveness to them.
I thought I could get through that. I failed miserably. Which one did I enjoy the most? I would not be able to tell you because I've done so many of them that I just don't remember. It would obviously have to be a level that felt like its own game. Or a hack that felt like its own game. Anything that was just Kaizo related or just like really short amount of levels wasn't good. Mario Gives Up is basically the narrative where breaking up just isn't enough. Sometimes you gotta go that extra mile. Did you ever saw that mystery in that one Super Luigi ROM hack? What, the one Luigi in the Island of Mystery? I don't even remember. It's been too long. I'm just gonna try to kill off this Goomba over here. Because I don't have it follow me. Oh, alright, I'll just kick the ninji to the curb. Which way do I go? Down here? Let's try let's try right first. Yeah, I don't need a one up that badly. I got nine. Whoo! Almost launched myself into a snippet there. A Super Mario thing was definitely a hack that had me raging a lot. Because the levels were, like, way too long, and some of them were just way too hard. And if you wanted to find exits, you were looking just about everywhere. Is this an item house? Hello to you too, uh, Joshua. Yeah, it's a very strange timeline that Xbox Live is coming to Switch. It'll be coming everywhere except PlayStation. Oh, it's this guy that's not a Bezo. Just dropping spears at very low gravity. I mean, wouldn't you? Huh. Whoa, that's an actual Bezo. That's not doing what Bezos do. Awful lot of pitfalls in this game so far. Hoping I'd jump on him safely. That did not pan out the way I wanted. So how does the hack as a whole look so far? To me, it looks pretty interesting. A little simplistic in its charm. Doesn't try to do too much. Okay, it's 
They just did, like, another rendition of the same music. What the hell? But now there's Fire Bros, which I'm not a fan of. Oh god, tornadoes are here, too. Okay, what is happening? Why does it look like there's a windstorm happening? But I'm not being pushed around. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm, I don't like being pushed around by wind. Oh! I had no way to defend myself there at the last minute. It's a Darude by Sandstorm. <laughs> Look at the size of that piranha plant! Oh, took a while for it to go away. Damn. Stop! The sand's getting in Mario's eyes. He needs eyes to see. Oh god, this music too. It looks whoa! whoa. It actually looks pretty cool, how this level is designed. Like, a lot of these, uh, levels are done really well. Yeah, there was, like, a particular, uh, well, SMB3 hack that I raged a lot in. And it might have been, like, cube root hacks, but there was, like, another hack that was different. It was just, like, ultra levels, pretty much. Like, it had a different name. And I remember, like, uh, one of the castles literally required you to be able to fly to find a pipe off-screen. I couldn't beat the level without a P-Wing. It was so stupid, I was so pissed, that I get little to no satisfaction from beating that game. Well, I almost jumped right into that. Whoa! Okay. and go about my merry way. One thing I've definitely noticed, there are, um, no checkpoints in levels. So if you mess up, you gotta do all that again. At least they let you save after every item house. Because that's all that matters. How does it look like those giant piranha plants are able to be dropped by one fireball? Bowser's just jealous because he can't be a top-tier character in Smash? You watch your mouth, boy! 
I'll have you know that I play a pretty good Bowser in Smash. Like, he's one of those characters that I can just rely on because, like, I get hit a lot, and therefore having a character that can take hits is good to me. Of course, I wasn't surprised that when I played online that there was, like, way too many Piranha Plant players as soon as it came out. Everybody wanted to play Piranha Plant because it's the end thing now. And you know that's going to change as soon as Joker arrives. <sighs> oh, got me again! I try Piranha Plant? Not bad if you know how to use its moves well. Like, they did a good job with the character that they clearly intended as a joke. To stick the middle finger to all the Geno marks. <laughs> some Hammer Brother encounters here, too. Yeah, I hear you. Hopefully that lack of two... Oh, yes, it came back rather quickly. But then it dies quickly, too. Oh, jeez! Bullet Bills sound really loud in this. It's like, they shoot him with full force. If I were to guess, like, who's going to be a, uh, character in Smash for DLC, I'm thinking one of the characters in Fire Emblem Three Houses. Would be nice if it's not a swordsman for once. Um, probably the main hero from Dragon Quest XI. Other than that, I can't really think of anyone else. Maybe another Piranha Plant. <laughs> Piranha Plant 2. What if they do give us a Super Mario Brothers or Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars character, but it's not Geno? That it turns out to be Frog Fucius? <laughs> Just be like, nah, screw you. <laughs> Why does the music sound more upbeat than normal? just suddenly got more a little bit wild. What about that? Oh, get out of here, you. God, I didn't kill that paratroopa. Uh, uh, oh! Ho, ho! I was almost too late. Spear guys from Yoshi's Island would just not be a good idea. Like, it would just be way too out there. If you're gonna have to do with a spear, why not the freaking Waddle Dee from Kirby? 
People want Bandana D. Oh, there's a key. And that just opens up that. What would I get in there, anyway? Just flowers? Oh, a mushroom. That's it? That's a far worse uh, item shop than the other place. At least I was able to get a flower in it. Gee, I wonder if I'm not supposed to touch the green stuff. Apparently, like, giant fish will pop out of the, uh, swamp water. I definitely don't want to get eaten, that's for damn sure. Fish! And apparently they are, like, one-hit kills. I now know that now, which is a shame. There! Uh, let's not have that happen again. There's too many spots for these fish to appear. They just, <laughs> they just get you out of nowhere. I'm gonna say this. If you heard from somewhere about what's gonna be a future DLC character, nine times out of ten, it's a lie. The only way you'd know for sure is if Nintendo tells it themselves. People put fake stuff out there, you know. Oh, what's this? Why would I need to go in a pipe here? Can I just jump over it? Oh no, not this level for Mario 3. I remember this level. The best thing to do is let the star go as far as you can. And then, that way you get a little bit more mileage. Because chances are you may not have enough time and you get your goat eat. Okay, that was not fair. Have I played any of the Xenoblade games? I actually have all three of them, but I've never beaten any of them because they're so long. And some of them I just... I get tired after a while. Like, Chronicles X did not keep my interest long term. Which is a shame. But the thing is, most of it was because you had to, like, uh, download certain packs to make the game run faster. And if you don't have an external hard drive, it eats up nearly your entire Wii U hard drive space. And I hardly got anything on it now. Like, that's just egregious. doesn't need to be that big. Oh, 
Oh, that's just another key. Oh, I guess I gotta just gotta take this pipe then. Yeah, I did see the uh, coin ship, but I wonder if World 5 is actually on it. Uh, I don't think I actually fell. It just seemed like I touched lava on the side and that's what killed me. Oh, it's one of those levels. Where you have to pick the right path. But look at this path. They expect you to really rush. Okay, anything that looks like it's challenging, that's the path you should take. Like that, see? <laughs> Thank you. Um, nope, not the middle. Hey, maybe I'll get another power up this way. What? Why did it just send me out? It just faded to black. What the fuck? Let's think about this carefully. What is the right path to take? Up? Yeah, it was up. Okay. Actually, at the end of it. Huh. Woohoo! Pretty annoying castle to have like one of those uh, puzzle hallways. Five one. We're on the ice world now. There are no ice physics. Just had to check. Those piranha plants that have the spike balls on them. Could you imagine for a joke if one of the DLC characters in Smash is actually Leon from Final Fantasy VIII? Despite the fact VIII is probably one of the only Final Fantasy games you're not going to have on the Switch. Just to do it as an absolute joke. Hmm. Why does it seem like I should be able to get up there? I'm sure as hell I'm not gonna. Oh, wow. Well, oh, it's still there. Look, I played Final Fantasy VIII on this channel, on my YouTube channel, and it was okay, but it was not. Great. Even Final Fantasy VII was not great. Like, not as great as people make it out to be. Am I supposed to get up there? Let me see if there was, like, an enemy that I could use. Maybe I can use the bullet bill. Ha! I actually had to like get a bullet bill from like really far away. And that 
work just fine. So I think we should be able to complete the level now. Alex Martin 214 gave me a 20-bit cheer. This game gives so many memories. Been supporting Yu-Gi-Oh since Yu-Gi-Oh on the Game Boy. Probably Dark Duel Stories, because that was the only one that was considered Game Boy or Game Boy Color. Oh, look at that as a whale. Why is grass growing on you? What the fuck is this? We're running into salad whales. This whale is just straight vegan. <laughs> He's got grass growing on his back. There was wow. Oh, oh. oh, now it shows up. You know, okay, uh, I'll get the water ready. Oh, you're dead. Sorry. Eat some of that whale salad. Get all your vitamins. Can't pan the camera forward and backward. So I gotta, gotta rely on some jumping skills. Okay, that's better. That actually worked. I picked the absolute worst time to make that jump. Okay, that was actually a pretty good throw. Okay, one thing I don't like about like grabbing the grass is there's very little room for where you can uh, actually pull it. It has to be completely on the right spot gives little room for, a uh, error. Okay, can I just make this jump easily? Yes! What's up with all these poison shrooms, anyway? My rocket blows up and I die. <laughs> okay, I don't run into any shy guys with those uh, flame tanks. Fair enough. I guess I'll just have an easy ride. Ice level I was in, Phantom? No, that's 4-2 from Mario 2. 6-2 was sand. This is snow, which is basically cold sand. The kind that's made out of water. It's really cold. Oh, that's what they want me to do. Just muscle through. Oh, 
god, not these bloopers. I hated those. Just shooting its offspring at me. I don't want to... I don't want your kids, so leave me alone. Get off my back! Players want to play! Why do people even call it Fake Mario 2? Like, Nintendo clearly sold it to the public. It's their version of Mario 2. Like, just because the other version of Mario 2 in, like, Japan is Lost Levels, and they called it Mario 2 there, does not make Doki Doki Panic in North America any less a Mario 2. That's the way Nintendo intended. So to call it fake means that it doesn't exist. So as far as I'm concerned, that's a shit argument that they're making. Oh, what's up with this flower flashing? Oh. It's just a free flower. Oh no! This one actually, uh, freezes. This looks like something I would have to do. Ah, oh, missed that, really? Whatever, I guess I'll have to get another one of those flowers. But it looks like I can still do the level without it. Okay, that was, uh, very dangerous. Oh god, they really want me to do this? Whew, that was not easy. Still doable. Who's my favorite character in Earthbound? I don't have a favorite character because I didn't have an emotional attachment to the series. Ice bullies, really? Whoa! I didn't think they would just put me in the middle of them already attacking me. I didn't have time to prepare. Okay, that's one. And that's two. Well, I avenged my earlier loss. Can I actually enter and exit levels? Yes, I can. Okay. Here, was this the water level? Ah, you know what? I should actually come back here. Let me get a fire flower first. I can get one of 
over here. As long as I uh, don't miss every power up. Yes, that's the beauty of the Mario universe. It's not supposed to make sense because it's not real. <laughs> Yeah, believe it or not, when you enter this level, you're automatically walking to the pipe, but you can actually make yourself stop. So there's an alternate passage. So yep, there are secret exits in this game. I wonder where the others were. I don't know, remember seeing any. Oh, this is just for a fire flower? Really? I'll take it, but seriously, I was expecting more. I wonder how many worlds there are in this game. Oh, with the fire flower, you could actually destroy coins that you might need. So I might want to be a bit more careful when I use that. Especially around here. Yeah, exactly my point, Dino Dude. There's no clues to tell you if there's a secret exit there or not. Like, no, uh, colors of levels. Uh, I'll take the chances there. Oh! Oh! Oh, God, there's, like, so much shit. Look at all these swamps, they're everywhere. Dry bones, same thing. <laughs> like, look at them. What? Did I actually go through that door? That didn't look right to me. I'm very dis- Okay, guys, guys, guys. Did Bowser shoot those flames to the right while he was still facing left? Because that did not look right to me. I think he shot flames out of the back of his neck. Okay, good, I'm not crazy. That that pleases me greatly. Like seriously, what up with that? How do you prepare for something that can shoot the opposite direction it's facing? Am I just gonna have to climb up here? Okay, it's one of these levels that have the uh, mushrooms in the sky. Oh, okay, so that's how the um, platform physics go in this. Just so abrupt. I always found it weird 
in the original Super Mario Brothers, this type of level design was used once and not anywhere else. I always found that very strange. But here we are. <laughs> I mean, it's using assets from 4.3, but this is not 4.3. I call that another level defeated. Now we're in an actual cloud level. Okay, the good thing is, unlike the other trampolines in Mario, you could just hold the jump button and you're safe. Oh god, albatrosses are in this. Uh, I did not touch that sniff it. I don't know what you're talking about. This game is lying to ya. Making me look like I'm worse than I really am. Am I supposed to like ride one of these? I think I am. In Mega Man 11 you're talking about? My favorite, um, design would probably be either, uh-oh, Acid Man, or, I guess to some degree, Torch Man. For fighting, I would say Fuse Man. And, uh-oh, again. You gotta be extra careful of all this Albatross jumping. Good thing they're always in the right spot. Bounce Man was very easy to fight, though. Tundra Man can be annoying because it moves around so fast. And other than that, I can't really think of much else. Block Man feels a bit long. Almost messed up that jump. <laughs> but there, in case you guys ha haven't figured it out, I am looking for, um, hoping to get some uh, crowdfunding going for an Elgato so I can do some uh, HD uh, consoles in the future. And if you can't donate, um, share the stream around with your friends. Could be seeing some PS4 and Switch Let's Plays in the future. Who knows? It'll just make it possible. Whoa, whoa, what? There was nothing else there. That's a mean joke. Okay, what is this? Uh, did I just get sent back? Is there a specific, uh... Patch that I have to grab? No, I don't think so. Oh! I picked the absolute worst time to jump. I was just about to have my escape plan ready. Okay, let's try that again with with real feeling this time. Oh god, looks like a 
this level is mostly uh, one of those spinning platforms. <laughs> These platforms I don't mind, because I have pretty good control with them. Are you kidding me? I thought I was going to nail that jump. Let's try that again. Also, Mario gotta stop shaking. It's freaking me out. Is it cold up here in the sky? Like, I know it's difficult to breathe, but come on, work with me here. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I actually had to hit it from underneath. This level looks like it should be super hard. Like something for, I don't know, post-game. Not the middle of it! Can I get under there? No. I'm worried I get crushed to death. Okay. Good to know I didn't miss every single platform on the way down. Because that would have pissed me off. Let's try it this way. Just go around everything. Okay, that level was hard, but we made it. I should get an item to preserve my sanity. I gotta have at least one sky world. Oh, what? Oh, now I'm in the plane. I can only fire like two shots at a time. That sucks. Birds making just random dips up or down. Well, that's useless to me. I don't think I should touch those. Oh, that's bullshit! How do you prepare for that? Okay, as long as I don't get hit again before I get another mushroom. That's all that matters to me. Actually, I think I can do just fine. There may not be a boss level in this. Oh! My plane is made out of one-ups! Who'd have thunk it? Hmm? 
Could you imagine if you actually fell on the way to the flagpole? Like, you beat the level, but then the, the start, like the jumps, kill you? Oh, that'd be so bad. Drop there in the worst spot. Oof. Try to trick me with a uh, poison shroom? Nah, not happening. Not again. They got me one time with it, but not happening this time. Getting a little overboard with the difficulty of this stage, I'm telling ya. Oh, grab blocks. What? Huh? Oh, okay. I see what I gotta do. I actually had to go in this direction. Yep! Speaking of poison shroom, there's another one there! Oh no, don't go in that spot. Hope it'll be gone. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I think I just have to get to the very end. Looks like I gotta find a key, too. Oh. Fine, I'll do that then. going on so far in this stage how much do I need to do well at least I know where the key is now it's just a matter of actually picking it up Got the key. Now I gotta find the locked door and the way to get in it. Let me just put the key here. I think I have to break all these blocks. And I have just enough to do it. Awful lot of busy work for one stage. Like, seriously. Now just imagine if you were to die here. Like after all this trouble. I was half expecting the fireball to actually hit me even after Bowser was dead. I was that worried they would do that. World 7 already, Jesus. Whew. 
Whew. I almost jumped into that. Uh. Got there just in time. This level really likes its bullet bills. A little too much. That star was a trap. I I can't believe they did that. Actually, I, I guess I can kind of believe it, but I didn't want to believe it. I want to have like a semblance of hope still. I got kind of dashed. Star was not a bad idea, it was just going too far into the level that it was. Well, at least they give you a one-up right away. shortcomings. <laughs> hmm. I wonder how many worlds there are. Maybe eight? But I forget how many exits there are in this game. And I don't want to, like, go back to SMW Central to look. <laughs> This is gonna be a cave. Yeah, it's a cave. Why do you want me to go left? Oh, there's a trouter here. I remember those. Hopefully, this level won't be, uh, too much of a jerk like 5-1 was in Mario 2. Those were some bad times. When you had to like jump on certain shrouders, and you had to hope that you didn't miss your jump. Or you didn't accidentally kill a shrouder. Okay, I thought there was going to be one in the middle. What the frick? That didn't give me much hope. Alright, let's try this whole level again. was a bit of a fishy situation. See, I can do puns too. When I want to. Wait, what if I just do this? No, oh, no, it's too far. Wanted to, like, cut across, but uh, that was not happening. And even if I did, it wasn't much of a shortcut. How the hell am I supposed to do that jump? It's too far! That's stupid! Was there supposed to be a trouter in the middle and it just wasn't spawning?
It was not a good spot. It wasn't like there's was gonna be any logs. Yeah, let me try this. Yep, you're just supposed to run. <laughs> like, there's no way of knowing, just do it. Jump and pray. This looks like the way out of the cave. End of the level already? It doesn't seem like a long stage at all. This is all it is. Whatever, I guess. This house does not look like it's on stable foundation at all. Like, just on the sides, and it's over a waterfall. What if there's so much mass in the center? So where does this pipe even lead? Oh god, those trampolines! Where you just go and go and go and go. <laughs> Can I make this jump? Yes! Another trap! Why did it put that there? Oh, Chrono Keys with the follow! Thank you so much! That was just a mean place to put a mushroom, just saying. The only thing I hate about the green springs is that you have to hope that you're gonna land somewhere safe. Oh, this ceiling's a bit low. I don't want to get caught in the uh, divots. If I do, I'm not going forward at all. Supposed to use this Koopa shell for something? I guess we will find out. Probably to skip some of those jumps. We're almost done with World 7, too. Is this? Oh no, not this fish. Not this fish. I don't want I don't want no boss bass. Boss bass is a bass hole. Also, she responds. Way too fast in this, compared to Mario 3. At least in Mario 3, there was a bit more time in which you were safe. 
a lot less here. A hell of a lot less. <laughs> At least it's not Big Bertha. I'd rather Big Bertha. Big Bertha, at least you can see coming. Boss Bass is just like gonna jump up. And get you wrecked. Well, at least the sun is a... Uh beaming into the windows. I don't know how I feel about the sun, like, just being in the front. It might be a distraction. Oh, oh, hoo -hoo. okay. Someone tells me I should go left. Should I? Wait a minute! Is there a frog suit in this? Should I even a... What was the point of the frog suit if I can't go in water? <laughs> Is it just gonna make like the uh... Oh wow, there actually is a checkpoint. I did not think they existed. I thought they were like the boogeyman. Like not real. If I die again, I'm just gonna try to go through that pipe without a frog suit. Oh, God. Yeah, I figured it has something to do with, like, deep water. Hmm. Feels like the swimming with the frog suit is done much better here than in Mario 3. Like, it feels more fluid, pun intended, because I'm in water. Oh my god, look at all this. Uh, it's like Operation. Don't touch the Charlie horse of the water. Okay, that, that went superbly well. There's no door in here, it's just an opening. Wow, did they think I was gonna lose my flower so soon? Hashtag phrasing. Alright, so we made it to World 8, which has a lot of shrooms and tanks. But nothing else. Some guys I'm gonna run to a lot of Hammer Brothers here. Of course. Any fire flowers I could use? Any at all? I don't need coins. Fine. I guess I'll have to look for a flower elsewhere. Aw. I wanted to see if I could bounce it. It just wasn't meant to happen. Oh! <laughs> oh! I thought I could tempt fate. See, this is why I wanted a mush. I mean... 
This is why I wanted a fire flower, because of bullshit like that. Like, I just knew that was gonna happen. I just knew it. <laughs> Okay, let's try not to screw this one up. There. Not even gonna chance it. those stretches with Hammer Brothers that you can't really fight back against. Okay, I see a tank. <laughs> what if I make a bridge out of it? Because that's how it works in video games. Oh, great. Bony beetles. Can't break that. Guess I gotta find another way. Well, at least they're in sequence so I can walk past them easily. can I expect in this level? I can go in here. But do I want to? No! Because that just takes me backwards. Bony beetles were indeed introduced in Super Mario World. Luckily, they're not a serious issue here. Hammer bro suit? Okay, that's where I need to break blocks. But I think it only breaks specific blocks. Like the uh, gray ones. Like, it's not going to destroy any other blocks. Otherwise, I could have thought of a good spot to use them. Yeah, the, the last two worlds I feel have been just to reintroduce like other suits. Like World Seven, well, at least the end of it had the um the frog suit. So I guess the Tanuki suit will be on its way. And that's it with that level. Tank number one. Oh, you can't take the hammer bow suit with you? Oh, that's so lame. I wanted to keep it. It was such a good time. So if two Goombas are close to each other and you jump between them, 
That's a hit against you. That is so lame. Seemed pretty safe at the time. Oh. Wow. Got totally gimped by my impatience. I will be honest though, when it comes to Mario 3, I always love the uh, the tank levels. Simply for like the design of the tanks themselves. Like some of them just look like simple cruisers. Some with like cannons. And some like probably more than one cannon. Or just firing flames. God damn it. What? What? Uh, I jumped on him. And somehow, I died! Wow! Talk about Horshitola! I jumped on the enemy, and somehow I'm the one that got killed! Saying I hit his wrench, I could have sworn my body was like a couple inches away from the wrench. Alright, I picked up a key. I'll just throw the key in a river and a bridge comes out. Okay, game. Whatever you say. to his back. Oh, it throws bombs! They're spiny... I wish they were spiny bombs. That would have been pretty cool. To see, like, spinies that blow up and then shoot spines at you. Also, I only have only 13 lives. Oh, good, there's a mushroom here. Oh, I wanted to, like, throw it up, and it was too late. Wow! They blow up really fast! I do like the design of the Lakitu's cloud that was, like, angry all the time. Like, it means business. Alright, I got an idea. There! Now it can leave me alone for a little while. Just a reprieve from explosions. Why would you put a poison shroom there? For God's sake. Of all the levels! They had to throw in a poison shroom. At a time that I could use a flower. Good lord. Okay, let's not make that same mistake twice. There! Turnabout is fair play. Oh god. 
Oh god. Get in there! house here how's our ghost in an item house okay good a fire flower I needed this It's Bowser's kingdom, Flitchard. Yeah, I get that. But if Bowser really wanted to care to stop me, he should have at least just had no item houses in his castle at all. It's like, why get... Wow. Why give me an easy out when you can just give me nothing? It's like he's trying to be too fair. Wow, for some reason, the game screws up again where I'm not taking a hit. When I feel like I should have. Okay, there's like way too much bullet bill action going on. It's actually executing it that's going to be the issue. It looks like I should be able to get in here. Can I? No. I cannot. What's this? Whoa! Not those. Oh, just a one up. Oh, bullshit. Nuts! Oh, a ghost ship. Great. Let me get a mushroom. I always found it very interesting, like, they use, like, s the same track but they use, like, different versions of it. Like a 16-bit feel, and sometimes an 8-bit feel. Jeez, I wonder what those were supposed to be. Right, I can't take another one. Uh, okay. There's a spot to get away from the wrenches. I was concerned. Might be able to finish this hack in this one stream. Who knows? It's not gonna be like the last time I tried to do that. Four hours stream. And the game was still going. 
It's not gonna be like that at... Oh, wow. That's a tight squeeze. Okay, we're gonna get through it. Oh, thanks. Usually I have close to 99 lives by the time I get to World 8. But here, only... Whoa. Only 13. Alright, what is this? Oh my god, not these boos. Oh wait, they're dead. Okay, now it's a lot more manageable to do this fight. this world is. Oh, there's quite a few! <laughs> Good lord. I got your reference right away. Robert Tom. Short for bomb. For God's sake. You're not gonna give me a break, aren't you? <laughs> What's up with these Goombas? Those look hideous. They just stretched out the sprite and it shows. Hey there, uh, big boy, Hanny. Songs list? I don't think I have any commands for that. Can you do song request? I don't do song requests on there. This is a very simple stream. Oh, wow. Uh, please do not post uh, links uh, without permission there. Just... It would just keep the, sh the chat looking very nice, that's all. Yeah, this level's rough. Glad you understand, man. I think this is your first time here, is it not? If so, welcome to the Sanctum. Wait, this takes you back to World 1? Wait a minute. That's a pipe we saw like earlier in the game. Remember when we were in roll two and we just hopped over that? And we saw a pipe we couldn't reach? It actually leads all the way over here. the level? No, 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 wait a minute. There's gotta be a catch.
And now, for some reason, you do die going there. Okay, that's strange. Oh, oh Jesus. That lava is rising way too fast. Oh, oh no! You're actually supposed to hit that block. Um... Am I gonna be able to time this right? Yes, I am. Good. Okay, can't just run all the way. Uh. This might be possible to do. No, it's not possible. I took way too much time. If I get a fire flower, that might speed up the process. I think you can get a power up in this level, too. Like, right here. Because I already got a mushroom, so therefore, the next power up, by default, should be a flower. This is going much better. You can tell it's a fast level because look at the time limit. Because if you screw up once, oh, look out. Does it really want me to use one of those bullets? Well, we'll pick the absolute worst time to, for you to get shot. Good lord, I, I gotta time this right. There we go. Uh, 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 uh. Oh no, there's more! How am, I, how am I supposed to get up here? Don't tell me! I was supposed to hit that item box. How high up does this lava go? All the way! So now, on that stage, there's gonna be a green uh, trampoline. I think some of you are a little bit behind in the stream because I already got the solution figured out and I'm still getting solutions. It's like, I would have figured it out eventually. You'd be surprised that I don't usually get stuck a lot. Alright, well here's the castle. I think this is the last stage in the whole game. So this might take exactly two hours. Oh, okay. I'm seeing like, um... 
little dots there, like under my lives. So it looks like I actually collect coins in this. Oh no, it's okay, don't worry about it. I mean, it, at least it's not aggressive backseat gaming like I've sometimes gotten in the past. And then as soon as you call them out on it, you say like, oh, why don't you play the game yourself? And like, no, it's fine. I don't know if it's special coins, but I'm not seeing any. Didn't find any in the first part of the stage. What if I have to get them? Because look, these, these, like these coin indicators were not in any other stage in the game. Only now. Why are they even here? There's the ace coins. I guess I had to go through a certain pipe to reach it. Also, what's this one? How the hell do you get this one then? Do I use an explosion? I think I'm supposed to do this. There has to be another pipe somewhere, is it? Look over here. Yeah, I know, that's wrong, game. I can keep going. Oh. Get the angle right. Can I hug this? Nope, that is not an invisible wall. Switch over there. And I see a pipe, but I wonder if that pipe will actually be accessible if I got all the coins. But then how the hell do I get this one? I think I'm supposed to use a paratrooper? Oh, I'm gonna run out of time. if I just die? Okay, I respawn here. I respawn in a whole different spot! Also, welcome to the show, Cole. What if I use this? Nope, that's not gonna work. Maybe the ace coins are not required to finish the stage, are they? I don't know. They lead to a pipe, like over here. But I can still go through the door. I can still go over here. Oh, that's how I get that coin. Now it makes sense. So I think I do need the coins. What the poof? That is horseshit. And it's not even a fall. It's just getting like a pixel on it. 
eat my fire flower, please. Yeah, I know how to get this one. Oh, didn't think I was on a platform. I think there was only four ace coins. And the other one is just at the end of this. Okay, so I got all four now. So as you can see, I still can't get through there. Maybe that will change if I were to... Oh, I have to approach it. Give you an extra 300 seconds. Fine, do whatever you want, you're dead. <laughs> I'll just power through. Now his castle no longer exists. Nope, there is an actual final battle. Oh, I see what I gotta do. Gotta wait for him to like cause an earthquake. Bad save, Bonga. Very bad save. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought I had to do all that again. It just sends you straight to the final boss. Good. I thought the game would have bullshitted me the whole way. And it kind of does. Because the rock will land exactly where you're to. Or, you know, where it's going to predict you're going to go. Oh, break me. Okay, I guess I'm a bad throw. We all learned something new today. Oh no, now he uses hammers. Oh, free mushroom. Oh, come on! Because I got hit, it made me drop the, the stone. Oh, and it broke. Is he done? Is he finally dead? He hit something on the ground. Alright, I didn't even know Peach was kidnapped. Thank you, Mario. Your quest is over. However, there might be other things left for you to do. A warp zone has appeared. Um, where did it appear to? Certainly not in this world. Uh, I guess I'll just go back to world one. <laughs> we'll just finish world one, two again. Uh, nope, the, uh, warp is right here. Extra levels are right here.
I don't know whose house this is. And I don't care, I'm robbing it. Alright, I guess we got more levels to do! Wait. Oh my god. Adventure Island 3 music? Are you serious? It even had the coconuts and everything. I'm just glad that Mario actually has more time to do a stage and not have to grab fruit every few seconds. Oh, come on! You found the exact seam to kill to hurt me. <laughs> God, so many good times of playing Adventure Island 2 and 3. Not so much 1. 1 was not a good time. It was too challenging. God, bandits are here? <laughs> Giant land. Why don't you play it in the Sanctum? Maybe because I'm playing other things. Like, just because I say that... I want to. I like a certain game. Doesn't mean I'm just gonna guarantee to stream it. Besides, I've let's played it on my channel as well as in the group channel, Much Games Guides. So it feels like people have already seen me play it before, and it'll just get a bit repetitive. Okay, you can't bounce the uh, poison mushrooms. Life was so much better when those Hammer Brothers were shrunk. Wonder how many extra levels there are. Dreamland? Ha! <laughs> you can actually leave the stage and just be done with it. Like, nah. I don't think this has anything to do with Kirby. I think it has more to do with just Mario 2, because that's also a dreamland. Yeah, this looks more and more like a Mario 2 obstacle course to me. Subcon is a convention of Subway <laughs> and other sandwiches. Yeah, you ain't getting me, you bastard. I screw myself over? No, you just gotta make a really good jump. I kinda like Subway, but I don't often go there because it's a little out of the way for me. But man, I loved Quiznos. Oh, need to get that rocket there.
Okay. Mount Rage. Oh. That's why they call it Mount Rage. It's because of the sun. Okay, uh, that was mean. I will not do that again. Oh, I, I thought I could just kill the sun right away. And just cheat the level. No, don't work like that. Oh, oh. Trap, guys. No, okay. Look at it, they're just taunting you. I wonder if I can kill the sun like in Mario 3. Nope, you cannot kill the sun! Too. Don't go that way. I don't need you over here. God, it reminds me of this meme that I saw. That, like, who would win between 10 trillion lions or the sun? And people are saying, oh, it's definitely the sun because the sun is powerful. And then one person replied, what if it's nighttime? How powerful is the sun then? Like, the sun is still there! Like, what the fuck? Ten trillion lions is not gonna beat the sun! I mean, if you wait 4.4 billion years, you can kill the sun. Will we still have lions in 4.4 billion years? We're exterminating species as is. Try pitting this angry sun against the moon from Majora's Mask and see what happens. No, because that's how we got Milky Way wishes in Kirby Superstar. go down that rabbit hole again. Marks went bonkers. Exactly. And that's what capitalists fear. The rise of Marx. <laughs> okay, this ship's speed is fluctuating. Even hit. Was that a wrench that was off screen? I think it was a wrench. Oh, there's where Bowser Jr. went. What's this? It's just a ship. Hey, wait a minute. I can't go into the ship. Let's try this again. 
Look, I can't even select the, the ship level. Is this unfinished? No, because usually they put levels that make you stop. What's this e castle? There's nothing in that room. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Anything in this room? There's a door, but I can't reach it! It's just game of keep away or something. Hi. Bitches is my throne now. No nothing? You got nothing to say to me? What was even the point of coming here? Look! There's nothing in this room. In the other room is a door that's out of reach. Let me see if there's any invisible blocks. No, there isn't one. I tried everything. Look. Moving up, moving left, moving down. And I'm hitting like L and R to see if that's a thing. Then what's even the point of these places? Did any warps appear elsewhere? Doesn't look like there's anything else. Maybe that was literally it. Just beat Bowser Jr. and then there you go. Because technically we were on his... That might have been his ship that we were just trying to get into and couldn't. But that still doesn't explain this. I highly doubt it, because it feels like just grasping at straws and completely out there. I mean, you don't, you don't think there'd be anything else. Then explain that ghost house. I think that's pretty much it. The keys you collect in other levels are basically what just broke rocks and activated bridges to continue the game. It wasn't anything else, really. The keys don't even show up in an inventory. They're just a free pass to continue on. So yeah, I'm pretty much done with this game, I believe. Well, thank you all so much for uh, coming, and I'll uh, see you at the next show whenever that is. Take care of yourselves, everyone.